We are going to solve this system of equations. We have x plus y is equal to 45, and we have 0.2x plus 0.5y is equal to 0.4 times 45. Let's use the elimination method, because in my opinion, about 90% of our time, it will be quicker. And let's get rid of the x, okay? So this is 1, and this is 0.2. On top of this right here, we have to get the lowest common multiple to be 0.2. The numbers in front of the x have to be the same, but opposite sign. This is 1. 1 times 4 would be 0.2. Well, just 0.2, right? Therefore, we are going to take the first equation and multiply it by 0.2. Well, this is 0.2x already, and this is positive. Therefore, I shall make this negative 0.2, right? And let's see what do we have right here. So we have to distribute this into all that. Negative 0.2 times x, that will give us negative 0.2x. And this times y is just negative 0.2y. And negative 0.2 times 45, this will give us negative 9. And for the second equation, this and that stays. Let me just write it down positive 0.2x, and this is positive 0.5y. And be sure, from the original question, we have to multiply 0.4 with 45. And we will end up with 18. Okay? And now, we are ready to solve it. This and that will cancel, and then when we have negative 0.2y plus 0.5y, we get what? 0.3y, and this is equal to what? Negative 9 plus 18, that's positive 9. And then, let's divide both sides by 0 0.3. So this and that will cancel, and we get y by itself. And this will give us 9 over 0 0.3, so we get what? 30. And now, we take y is equal to 30, and we go back to the original equation, right here, either one. And let's use the first one, use the first equation, because it has whole number. I don't like decimal. So right here, let's bring this back. y is 30, so plug it into 30 here. x we don't know, so it is still x, plus the y is 30, and then this is equal to 45. And then we can just subtract 30 on both sides so that they cancel and then we get x is equal to 45 minus 30 is 15 and this is it the answer here you know x is 15 and y is 30 right but then if we are doing this with my other question earlier what does the x represent is the amount of milliliters that we have to use, right? So you have to write it down clearly. You have to write down 15 milliliter of what? The 20% solution, okay? And then for the Y being 30, that's 30 milliliter of the 50% solution. And this is how you are going to present the answer. Don't just write down x and y if you are doing this from my other question.